in a production facility, transitions from one mode of operation to another must be smooth or bumpless. This applies to transitions between the manual and auto modes for the PID block. Achieving a bumpless transition from auto to manual is easy. The controller output in manual must be the controller output in automatic just prior to the switch to manual. Achieving a bumpless transition from manual to auto requires that the computations be initialized properly, specifically by computing the initial value for the controller output bias. These computations are described in this video. For a PID block, what is meant by bumpless transfer? That no abrupt change occurs in the controller output at the instant the mode is changed from manual to auto. There are three possibilities for the behavior of the controller output. One is that the controller output is constant prior to switching the mode and is constant at this same value subsequent to the switch. Clearly this is bumpless. Another is that the controller output changes abruptly at the instant of switching the mode to auto. Clearly this is not bumpless. The third is an intermediate. The controller output is constant prior to the switch to auto, but immediately following the switch, the controller output begins to increase or decrease. No abrupt change occurs at the instant of the switch, so the transition is bumpless. For a PID block, this behavior occurs when the controller is switched to auto with a set point that is not equal to the PV. Initialization of a PID block derives from the proportional plus bias equation. M is K sub C times E plus M sub R. This equation is solved for M sub R and evaluated at the time the block is switched to auto, which will be designated as time zero. M sub R at time zero equals M at time zero minus gain times error at time zero. For proportional only control, the controller output bias remains at its initial value M sub R zero. But when the integral mode is in use, the controller output bias is basically the output of the integral mode and changes whenever the control error E is non-zero. To achieve bumpless transfer, the value for M sub R zero only needs to be computed at the instant the controller is switched to auto. Like most commercial digital control systems, the simulator performs the computations whenever the PID block is in manual. If the PID block is in auto, the control calculations are executed. If the PID block is in manual, the initialization calculations are executed. Display the tuning coefficients for the hot air temperature controller. The controller gain is 1, the reset time is 0.8 minutes. Both proportional and integral are used in the controller. Both the PV and the set point are 210 degrees Celsius. So the control error is 0. For E sub 0 equals to 0, the initialization equation simplifies to M sub R at time 0 equals M at time 0. The starting value for the control output bias M sub R zero is the manual value M sub zero for the control output. The point window displays the value of 82.0% open for both the controller output and the controller output bias. 
The next video explains a feature known as PV tracking. This feature is disabled in the hot air temperature controller. Right click the value of the set point and enter 220. The control error E is 10 degrees Celsius. The point window displays a value of 78.7% open for the control output bias. The value is a result of the initialization calculations. As will be explained in a subsequent video, a control gain of 1.0% is a gain in engineering units of 0.333 percent open per degree Celsius. The manual output is 82 percent open. The initialization calculations are M sub bar 0 equals 82.0 percent open minus 0.333 percent open per degree Celsius times 10 degrees Celsius gives 78.7 percent open. Neither the integral mode tuning coefficient nor the derivative mode tuning coefficient is used in the initialization calculations. Increase the fresh air damper opening to 65.8 percent. This causes the hot air temperature to drop which affects the value of the control output bias computed by the initialization calculations. The hot air temperature lines out at 199.7 degrees Celsius. The set point is 220 degrees Celsius. So the control error is 20.3 degrees Celsius. The initialization calculations now give a value of 75.3% open for the controller output bias. The PV tracking feature mentioned above will be explained in the next video.